Mr. Ghansham, hearty congratulations on securing All India first rank in the XC branch and All India sixth rank in mechanical branch in the GATE 2024. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, Mr. Ghansham, how do you feel after securing this All India first rank? Um, I, I'm, I'm very glad, to be honest. Uh, uh, I wasn't expecting this good result in both the papers, but uh, I'm very glad after seeing this result. I'm really, really happy about my result. Okay, good. Uh, Mr. Ghansham, uh, it seems as per the records, uh, uh, you have taken uh, classroom coaching in the year uh, for this uh, GATE 2024 in our Pune branch in mechanical engineering. That is correct, sir. Yeah, good. Uh, uh, Ganesham, please tell us our classroom coaching, how it helped you in securing this All India first rank in the XC branch and All India sixth rank in your mechanical branch. Sure, sir. Uh, the experience was really great. Um, all the concepts from basics were taught in the class regarding all the subjects, maybe thermodynamics or uh, manufacturing, production and uh, fluids, heat transfer, all the basics were clarified, all the doubts that I had, I asked it to the teachers and they clarified it really well. The test series was pretty good as well. It helped me a lot in uh, correcting my mistakes and the notes provided by the uh, all the teachers were excellent as they helped me in preparation for the exam really well. Okay, good. Uh, thank you for those kind words, uh, Mr. Ganesham. Ganesham, apart from this classroom coaching, uh, yes academy has given you some uh, what you call uh, booklets also right yes sir yeah coaching material booklets and uh, pyqs to you yes sir yeah how this uh, yes academy booklets and this uh, other material helped you further yes sir so uh, the pyqs the list of pyqs helped a lot as those were the first things that i uh, tried after once the concept was uh, taught to us and then the classroom material was there to help me out with new kinds of questions that I could encounter in the exam. And that kind of gave me a new perspective and new types of questions that could appear in the exam, which helped me a lot in this recent exam as well. Great, Mr. Ganesham. Ganesham, can you please tell us which college are you from and when did you graduate? So uh, I did my BE uh, in mechanical engineering from Bits Pilani Goa campus and I graduated in 2020. Okay. Uh, Ganesham, you graduated in the 2020. Uh, what were you doing the uh, three years gap period? So uh, I was doing a full-time job uh, in Pune itself. Uh, okay. And... Uh, I left the job after doing it for like two years and eight months. And uh, since I wanted to prepare uh, for higher studies and uh, one of the uh, dream I had is to study at ISC Bangalore for which uh, I started preparing for GIT. And, uh, and that is why I left the job and uh, uh, got into ACE coaching so that I can prepare for GIT and get a good rank. Good. Uh, Ganesham, please tell us, uh, seriously, how many months you would have prepared for this uh, GATE exam exclusively? I started preparing uh, on paper from uh, uh, May of 2023, uh, since I le once I left my job. The serious preparation required six months of uh, 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 planning and uh, six months of serious uh, study where uh, I, I was going through all the basics of each and every uh, subject and uh, trying to solve as many problems as I can. So six months is, I think, uh, a good amount of time in which you, if, if you are serious enough, you can crack gate exam uh, pretty easily. Okay. Okay, Ganesham. See this, uh, during our coaching program, how you used to plan your uh, preparation? Your day time you are attending the classes. After classes, what you used to do? How you used to utilize your time? What is the priority of the subject that you have given? Anything such as such? So, uh, one of the things, uh, once uh, I was done with the day's classes, right? 
uh, whatever that was ta taught on that day, I used to revise it once uh, after going home. And whatever was taught in that particular day, so I used to solve certain amount of questions uh, on that particular topic so that it fits in my, my mind and whether if I have any more doubts regarding that particular topic, I can ask it in the next class itself. So that was one thing. Another thing is uh, first I identified uh, based on my uh, engineering experience what subject I was good at initially and what are my likings and what subjects I was not good at, right? And uh, after doing that, uh, uh, I, I, I tried to come to a conclusion that how much time I need to give to those subjects in which I'm not good at and those subjects in which I'm good at. So lesser time for the subjects uh, which I'm good at, like uh, I really like fluid mechanics or heat transfer in my uh, <coughs> graduation years. So I focused less on them and more on the subjects in which I was uh, weaker in my uh, graduation time. Okay, good. Uh, Ganesham, how you used to revise the subjects? How many times you might have re uh, revised it seriously? What are the revision plan also, the revision plan? Yes, so the revision plan will be like this. Uh, once uh, I have gone through the concept, right? I, would, I used to solve a certain amount of problems after that. 10 to 15 days uh, after the concept was done and I have not studied it again, I used to again read through it so all the solved examples that I've done in the class again, and uh, try to solve some few more new types of problems on that particular concept. And then uh, give some more time after that, uh, let's say you can assume one month or one and a half month after that, I again used to revise that particular subject. And at the end of the, uh, when the exam was closed, uh, I, I prepared short, short notes of that subject while revising itself. And at the when the exam was pretty close, uh, daily revision of those short notes. Uh, that's what I was doing. Okay, right. Exactly. You have said rightly, Mr. Ganesham. Once you prepare these short notes, it is very very helpful to you in revising that uh, subject uh, rather very quickly. Okay, good. And uh, you have taken this ES online test series also. Uh, can you please uh, tell us how you used to take this uh, mock test along with your preparation? Right. So uh, the one of the things like uh, ACE online test series has close to 110 tests, which are which is, which is a huge number of tests, right? Um, I tried to solve as many tests as possible uh, in from the ACE test series. Uh, uh, so once I'm done with the concept, I used to solve the test re regarding that subject, right? Or those particular concept. For example, heat transfer. There are few topics conduction convection so uh, there will be a test on a topic wise test on that once i have done revising it i will solve that test and uh, see where i am making mistakes in that particular topic right and what what do i need to restudy in that particular topic similarly once i am done revising a subject i used to do sub subject wise test and uh, similarly if i have done revision for all all the subjects i used to give all three over mock test okay no so this is a full length mock test full length mm -hmm. mock test in which month uh, you took this full length mock test uh december and january okay how many mock tests you took uh i think uh, for full length mock test i have given around 15 to 17 mock tests if i remember correctly okay right so in this mock tests of us academy where you used to stand rank wise i was uh, in, uh, in in the full length mock test, I was close to 10 rank or 15, maybe sometimes I used to get lower rank as well. Uh, but I, I, generally around 10, uh, 11, 12, or maybe sometimes I've gotten one as well. So it was pretty variable. Right. Okay. I understand. Ganesham, suppose you got some disappointing marks in particular examination, mock test, let us say. How you used to overcome the particular problem? What modification you have made in your preparation style? Right. So uh, one of the key things that you uh, I, I used to do is that once I have seen the rank that I have not gotten the marks that I wanted, I used to analyze what type of question I have made mistake in. Right. What are the mistakes? Used to note down those mistakes and uh, retry those questions again. So that I don't mistake, I don't make that mistake again and again, right? 
so that was the idea behind it right even if in the full length mock test if uh, there are few questions from different subjects which i am unable to solve right which required a certain topic i used to revisit that topic and make sure that i don't mess up uh, in the next mock test the same make make the same mistake again and ganesham you got a first rank in the xc paper and a sixth rank in the mechanical uh, can you tell us the scores that you got in these two papers the gate scores yes exactly gate score i think uh, in uh, xc paper it is 959 uh, let me just uh, if you don't mind i'll just check so please one. please tell us because ultimately you are going to use the best score between these two though even though you got already a first rank in the xc paper right um, sometimes a sixth rank of mechanical may help you with a right. better score so Check in uh, xc i got 989 989 okay. score xc paper yes first rank and, yes and in uh, uh, in mechanical i got uh, 955 955 okay right so obviously the best score is uh, in uh, xc paper yes right. anyway anyway in some iits in some specializations you refer to how the score with the mechanical paper right yes of course you can i think because the sixth rank i think wherever you apply you are going to get that admission you record a specialization uh, ganesham what was the reason that uh, while taking this uh, xc paper ap apart from this mechanical paper also any specific reason from your side um uh, first of all uh, i think uh, one of the reason being uh, i like fluid mechanics so uh, there was one option there with fluid mechanics and thermodynamics uh so that was the reason i had to prepare only two subjects uh, along with mathematics and general aptitude of course uh, so that was one of the reasons and uh, uh, xc rank would uh, help me in getting uh, the uh, iits or uh, isc bangalore or whatever branch i want so that was since i was preparing i was doing it all for the higher studies uh, i thought that uh, xc would be better for me okay how do you compare this xc paper standard compared to mechanical paper in your opinion xc paper was quite easy as compared to mechanical i would say okay good ganesham uh, you have given very good points i think uh, uh, these points will be highly useful for the uh, juniors who are going to take the gate exam in future and apart from this uh, can you give any specific uh, advices or suggestions for the aspirants of this gate examination in general and mechanical in particular the advice would be uh i think it you may call it a generic advice but that's the best advice i would say uh, is uh, uh, focus on what your goal is uh, stay calm and uh, uh don't get demotivated uh if you're not uh, not getting what you are expecting right uh, keep on it and uh, uh, sometime you will uh, for sure may, uh, will succeed okay good good and one more question see in mechanical there are so many subjects right mm -hmm. which subjects that fetched you good marks and what is your advice to the students uh, to follow any specific order of uh, preparation uh the order of so uh, i think uh, the subjects that i like the most that is fluid and thermodynamics fetched me good marks <coughs> i would say personally i like the fluid thermodynamics heat transfer uh in this way i did my preparation because i was good at fluid so i knew that i i could do it in any point of time and in case of production and manufacturing uh it's it's really hard to cover complete syllabus that there, there might come a certain type of question that you will not know how to solve it so uh i think fluid thermodynamics and heat transfer and machine design these are the subjects that you can score full marks in if you have the right uh, 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 right concept in you right okay uh, one last question ganesham uh, did you cover this entire syllabus what are the prescribed for this gate examination otherwise have you followed have you skipped any topic because of some reason I think I have skipped certain topics that even I I, I don't remember that they are in gate. Okay, okay. because and, but uh, but uh, it's I I I don't think it's possible to con uh, cover hundred percent syllabus with absolute clarity. Uh, I would say I would I have only covered ninety percent, ninety to ninety five percent of syllabus. Yes, yes. This is the main point that I wanted to know from Mr. Ganesham because 
many students in this preparation journey they always try to cover this what you call 100% syllabus and in many cases that is not possible also right yes. so yes. right i think these points which you discussed in through this video i think certainly very useful for this uh, aspirate submitted examination uh, ganesham thank you so much uh, for sharing your uh, experiences with us right and uh, you, wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors god bless you ganesham once again hearty congratulations from our as academy thank you very much sir thank you very much